Hello, SAD Nation. My name is Dan Fitzgerald. I serve on SAD's National Board of Directors, and I would like to welcome you to my kitchen here in the small but mighty state of Rhode Island. Um, so today, I'm really excited to be able to show you how to make one of my personal favorite easy kitchen classics, chocolate chip scones. So let's see how it's done. For today's recipe, I'm actually going to be making my own butter. If you don't have the tools to make this, no worry. Store-bought butter is just fine. So I'm going to start off by pouring some cream into my hand crank butter churner. And then I'm going to crank that and enlist other folks to help out because you're going to be cranking this for quite a long time. So then I'm going to keep cranking until the butter and the buttermilk start separating. I'm going to drain out that buttermilk so I can use it to make pancakes in the morning. Um, and then I'm actually going to put this butter, um, after I you know really squeeze out all the liquid, I'm going to put this butter um, in some parchment paper and then get it into the freezer. Next, we're going to assemble all of our other ingredients so we can get started. The first step is I'm going to level off four cups of all-purpose flour, and we're going to get this into one large bowl. Um, and then I'm going to take one half cup of granulated sugar, add it to the bowl, followed by four teaspoons of baking powder. Now I'm going to take about a fourth of a teaspoon of salt, add that into the bowl, and then I'm going to grab a whisk and mix this until it's thoroughly combined. So now we're going to grab that homemade butter out of the freezer, and then we're going to grab our cheese grater. We're going to start grating that butter. This is actually going to make it really easy to cut the butter into our dry ingredients, and this will ensure we have a really flaky finished product. So after that butter's in the dry ingredients, we're actually going to measure out a cup of cream and then pour that over the butter in the dry ingredients. Then I'm going to take um, just a splash of some homemade vanilla extract. Once again, if you don't have homemade, store-bought's just fine. Once that's in, we're actually going to use a rubber spatula and get all of this to mix together. It's going to take a little bit of time to get it all together. Then we're going to add a little bit more chocolate chips than you think you need. You can never have too many. While you're mixing, make sure you preheat your oven to 375 degrees. Lightly flour a surface, and then you're going to take about half of the dough you created and get it onto that lightly floured surface. You're going to start patting this uh, dough together until it starts to form into a nice circle. You can either do this with the second half, or you can get the other half of your dough into the freezer so you can bake at a later date. Once you get the dough all into about an 8 inch circle, then you're going to grab a knife or a pastry cutter and cut this just like a pie so you have about 8 pieces. Mm -hmm. Now grab a spatula and a lined pastry uh, sheet and you're going to get all of your pastry onto the baking sheet. Now use a little bit of cream to top each of your scones. This will help them get nice and golden brown once they're in the oven. Then take a little bit of granulated sugar and add to the top of your scones. Now you're going to get your scones into your 375 degree oven for 15 minutes. Take them out once they're golden brown, let them cool, and then they are ready to serve. Alright Sad Nation, and that's how you make an easy chocolate chip scone. So now my final ask is to stay home, stay healthy, and enjoy your scones. Thanks so much.